Hey, so I am just getting ready to start my day and I thought I would do a what I eat in the day in recovery video. So my hair is currently up because I just dipped it in my coffee. So I'm teaching a training today. So I'm um, making my smoothie now and check out this adorable shirt I have. Since I've gained weight, I've, um, ooh, ooh. since I've gained weight, I've had to buy more clothes and I've been trying to buy clothes that make me happy and that feel good. And I also like the show, the clothes, especially the shirts that are loose fitting around my belly. I used to love shirts that were really, really tight, like Lululemon tank tops were my favorite. But let me show you this one. First, Unicorn and Rainbow sold. It was like $3 on Amazon. And it has this little tie so it doesn't so it doesn't like hug and show like the growing belly so okay i'll show you my smoothie <laughs> So I am just getting ready to go to my training <clears throat> and I have my smoothie. It has three dates, banana, cacao powder, maple syrup, and peanut butter in it and water and ice. So I've started this training. So if you've watched my videos, you've heard a ton about this training about how I didn't want to do it because I thought teaching it would... Um, trigger my perfectionism and really give me anxiety and that anxiety would make me want to restrict and then, re and then restricting would lead to binging and then binging would lead to purging and so I didn't want to do this training but there was no way to not do it so I'm doing it and I am so surprised how well it's going. I'm two days into it so this is the third day and it's 12 weekends over 10 months but it's going really good. I feel really confident. Um, I'm not thinking, sorry, I can't get a comfortable position to hold this at. I'm not thinking I need to present this information in a perfect way and that presenting the information is draining. Instead, I'm just imagining that I'm having a conversation with the students and I'm not trying to come off like I'm perfect and it's going really well. I met with my therapist and we talked about, I talked about how I have a hard time being with people for a really long period of time. I like one or two hours and then, ah, and then piecing out. And we were trying to figure out why that was. And she pointed out that it seems like I make my res myself responsible for everyone in any situation, whether I'm teaching or I'm hanging out with friends or I'm hanging out with my family. I put myself responsible for everyone else, and in doing so, I'm constantly sonaring whoever I'm with at every moment, and if I start to get feedback that someone isn't enjoying themselves, I then put more energy into trying to make them have a better time, trying to change their reality. And she pointed out that all I can do is be in charge of myself. Everyone else's experience is up to them, just like my experience is up for me. And so it's my job to teach the best I can or to show up in every situation the best way I can. And for me, that means kind and useful. But it's not up to me to make someone's experience different for them, um, like depending on what they're going on. Like they need to have their own experience. It doesn't mean I should be a bitch to them and not care how they feel about that. Anyways, so that's been really helpful. Now I'm really aware of like looking around the room and kind of making judgments on if people are liking what I'm doing or not liking it. And I think that's been helping conserve my energy. So I'm off to do more of the training and I will talk to you guys at lunch. <laughs> driving home for lunch for the teacher trip from the training I was teaching and I had like probably I don't know eight medjool dates I ate them while teaching so it would have been inappropriate to have filmed them for you and now I'm driving home and look at my lips does it look like I'm wearing lipstick I never wear lipstick but they're kind of dehydrated from teaching so much even though I'm drinking so much water but it's given me the nice lip shit lip shit uh, in the teacher training, we're talking a lot about CHIT, C-I-T, which is consciousness. 
so we've made so many jokes about like chit is learning and remembering your true essence so like chit happens is hilarious or that was good chit or get to your chit together oh my gosh it was so much laughter thinking of all those chit cit jokes that you could make I want to make a bumper sticker that says chit happens or that was good chit. I think both of those are so hilarious. Okay, so that was my little catch up for you guys about what I've eaten and I'm doing really good. Haven't thought about my body at all. There was a mirror, like I saw my body in it, but I didn't think like, oh my gosh, I look bad. I just was like, there's your body. And I pointed to some like biomechanic action. So that's really cool. And I'm going to go home and have some lunch. So I just got my daughter to take a nap and now I'm eating lunch. I'm eating noodles like pad thai with veggies and tofu and i didn't have a real bowl because i'm doing the um dish dishes at the same time didn't remember all my bowls were in there so i'm using this tupperware <laughs> So I just got back from my training. It is 6.30 and what else did I eat at the training? I think I had a huge, a few handfuls of nuts um, and now I'm munching on some chips and I'm making dinner. So I'll show you my dinner soon, but I wanted to share with you, I was doing really good all day. Um, when I say good, I just mean like I wasn't really thinking about my body at all. I was just kind of like letting it help me teach until the very end of class like the last hour and there's a mirror in the room and most of the teaching I'm doing is lecture like we're, we're doing very little physical movements we're doing lots of talk about philosophy but at the very end I kind of got um, the students like have lost a lot of their energy like they've done 20 hours this weekend like their mind couldn't take anymore but I was still lecturing and I think because they didn't seem very engaged and enthusiastic I started to get nervous and so I saw myself in the mirror and I started to think I'm fat and like as I was teaching I kept thinking like gosh I don't like the way my body looks and so to go back what my therapist said which I posted a video about the other day was to label what was happening in the moment when I started to become obsessed with my weight thoughts and it was that the students didn't seem interested like I was afraid they didn't like me and it was, it was the fear that they didn't like me and that I'm not a good teacher that was like what was real that I didn't feel like I was good enough and so I started to pick at this weight thing anyways now I'm I tried to like brush it off and to not focus on it and I'm not letting it affect what I'm eating for dinner um, and I'm just so tired right now and I have like no mental energy or capacity so that's where I'm at and I will show you my food soon so my dinner is ready I'm having pupas which is like black beans and veggies and then refried beans and then these vegan beef taquito things and then mushrooms and onions that are roasted and then a avocado tomato onion salad i'm going to smother this in goddess dressing and i'm going to dip these in um I'm gonna dip those in like Thai sauce or barbecue sauce or sweet chili sauce. Those are the sauces I've been really liking. So I'm gonna eat this and I might talk to you guys later. Hey, so um, I just got my daughter to bed and now I am going to do some work here on my laptop to prep for the next weekend of training because I go on a trip in between this weekend this past training I go on a week trip and then I come back and teach another weekend training so I just want to get prepared for that anyways my night um I've been thinking about my body size a lot I took a bath because they're really soothing to me I think of them as a form of self self-care and then I got out and I looked in the mirror for too long and like I have gained weight no doubt I don't know how much weight because I don't weigh myself and I'm having a hard time not focusing on it 
I'm trying to remind myself that I'm really overwhelmed. I'm really exhausted. I am so exhausted. Like, I can't even think clearly. And I think my eating disorder is just trying to latch on to my weight as a form of, like, meditation to, like, help me not focus on anything else. And it's an unhelpful form of meditation, but it does help me give, it does help give me that false sense of control. And what I'm also remembering is this morning and for the majority of the day, I felt really good about my body. So right now I'm not, but that doesn't mean that this is always how I'm going to feel. Tomorrow I wake, when I wake up, there'll probably be parts of the day tomorrow that I feel really good about my body. And if not tomorrow, the next day, like I know that it will pass. I have to go through these times of not feeling good about my body to get to a period where I probably will. But the, it it's not that getting... It's not that I want uh, that like getting to a point where I feel good about my body is the ultimate goal. The goal is I no longer hurt myself with my eating disorder and isolate myself from the world and lie to the people I love and slowly kill myself. That's what's important. So even though I'm not feeling good about my body, at least I'm not slowly killing myself and in doing so, like severely traumatizing my kids and my husband and like setting them them up for potential eating disorders like I know that this path is the one I'm meant to be on and in the past I've been I've tried to recover from my eating disorder for eight years I've had it for 15 years and in the past these feelings of feeling fat or feeling like I'm gaining weight um have triggered me to restrict and then that eventually leads me to binge and then that eventually leads me to purge and then I'm right back in the cycle and then I have to start all over again and so I refuse to do that and so yes I'm not feeling good about my body but you know it's gonna pass and getting through it what matters and if I were to engage in my eating disorder it would not help the situation at all so yep this too shall pass one of my favorite reminders. Okay, thanks for watching this, you guys. Um, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Bye.